Hello Christopher, nice to see you today. Hi. So when did your passion for kitchens begin? Well I started making furniture probably you know, over 30 years ago now and um, then started designing kitchens for people because that's what people wanted and uh, got more and more into it and obviously because we're keen cooks that helped as well. Yeah, and what made you open the White Kitchen Company? Well I had a business before designing furniture and kitchens and then we moved away from that and decided to focus more online. That seemed to be the way things were going and we wanted to offer people the choice of, of doing some or all of the projects themselves. So we can either supply just the furniture for people or we can do the whole project for people. Um, we're very flexible and we like to keep our transparency. Nice. And if someone is planning their new kitchen, are there any, any, any elements for design and inspiration they should follow to find success? Well, really, it's all about them. It's all about the space they have. Be realistic about the size of it and also about what you're trying to achieve. Um, so it, it, whether it's going to be a very social space or whether it's less so, and um, we'll design it with you to achieve, hopefully, everything that you want. And what do you think makes a white kitchen company stand out from other companies in the market? Well, what we do is very good quality, but also we try to make the pricing fair. Um, some kitchens can be so expensive and we don't feel it's necessary. We think we, so we keep our prices fair and consistent all year round. And we work with our cl clients. We won't tell you what to have. We'll work with you to try and achieve what you're looking for. Yeah. And what's your vision for the future of the kitchen market? I think um, there's various different uh, ideas that we have at the moment. We're looking at doing some freestanding furniture that can be placed in, straight into the kitchen and then taken away if there's somebody wants to go to a new house they can take it with them. We're also looking at having more flexibility for people to do their own projects, trying to offer better value for money because obviously money is tight at the moment so we're looking at having a more DIY range of cabinetry but still carrying on doing what we do and just hopefully getting better at it and more well known. Yeah. And last but not least, do you have any tips for people looking at having a new kitchen? Organisation, project management is something that's very undervalued and it's absolutely key to having a successful project. So that would be my main tip. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you.